Hi everyone, welcome to Sri Sai online training. Today, in this session of Core Java, we are going to discuss the following topics Division by Zero in Java programming. We'll discuss integer division by zero, floating division by zero, and then we will discuss some basic string class methods and we'll also understand differences between c and java programming and we'll do some programs for the above topics so before starting with these topics let us have a small revision what we discussed in the last session so in the last session we had a discussion on floating arithmetics okay so how to perform arithmetic operations addition subtraction multiplication division and modulo on floating numbers and we have taken floating numbers using double data type we also discussed string concatenation so string concatenation using plus operator example hello plus world so the answer is hello world so it will combine two strings into single string concatenation so without using plus operator also we can do it with concat method so concat method is available in string class so string s1 is equals to hello next string s2 is equals to welcome okay and then we can also perform s1 dot concat of s2 so s2 will be combined at the end of s1 so this is what is string concatenation right so and also we discuss one special case in string concatenation which is string plus string is string okay second case string plus value any value integer value real value boolean value any value is also equals to string third case value plus string is also equals to string and then we also understood around 20 to 21 basic notable differences between c language and java programming language right so this is what is all about revision from the last session so now let us start with today's topic division by zero in java programming so basically in mathematics division by zero is infinity in mathematics okay so any number divided by zero is infinity in mathematics okay right so in c c plus plus a number divided by zero will get a runtime error in c c plus plus but in java we have two special cases here so division by zero two cases first integer division by zero second floating division by zero so let us understand both the cases right so first coming to integer division by zero okay so in this case when an integer is divided by zero we get no compilation error but during execution time we get runtime error 
and technically this runtime error is called as exception and to be more specific we'll get arithmetic exception okay so let us try to demonstrate this with a small program integer division example one dot java so take a new page so first write comments at the beginning of the program so take the main class with main method integer division okay example one so i'll write here integer division zero to be more specific okay right so integer division zero so take it as class name and then program execution starts with main method public static void main okay string of orcs right so let us save this program in our working directory right so here g colon ssot java core under that programs right so integer division zero example one dot java so here i'll take int a comma b comma c right so first i'll take case one okay a is equals to 10 b is equals to 0 so c is equals to a by b so a is integer b is integer a by b next i'll say system dot out dot println we will print c value okay so save this program in your corresponding working directory so open the command prompt and go to g colon under that ssot java core java programs okay right so let us compile this java c integer division 0 example 1 so no error in successful compilation okay so let us run the program so for running the program use java command okay so java integer division 0 example 1 so during compilation we did not get any error okay so but when we run the program we got the exception so what is the name of the exception arithmetic exception where we got it in our main method so which line line 12 okay line 12 main method so what is our program name integer division 0 example 1 dot java and this is the message what we got it division by 0 so technically this is called as exception or to be more specific runtime error so technically this is called as runtime error so a by b we got it as runtime error okay so now integer division by zero is arithmetic exception or runtime error so how to handle this runtime error so for runtime errors or technically called as exceptions we have exception handling mechanism okay so we have exception handling mechanism and for exception handling mechanism we have a separate chapter only okay so this is how we are supposed to perform integer division by zero which is a runtime error or exception so now let us understand floating division by zero okay now in this case when a floating number is divided by zero 
we do not get any compilation error so when we compile the program no error and when we run the program here also will not get any error so in java floating number divided by 0 is infinity okay so infinity is a defined value in java so integer division by 0 is exception floating division by 0 is infinity so what is this floating value so floating value means it is a real value with decimal it is a real value with decimal so let us try to work with this here floating division 0 example 2 right so first take a new page write comments at the beginning of the program right so take the main class okay so floating division 0 example 2 is our main class so take the main method public static void main string of orcs okay and save this program in your working directory programs folder so floating division 0 example 2 dot java right so now let us take floating values using double data type so double x comma y right so case goes like this x is equals to 10.5 okay y is equals to 0, 0.0 okay so we'll also take one more value z so z is equals to x by y and we'll say here system dot out dot println z right so division by zero for a floating number it is defined in java and the answer is infinity is a value so save this come to the command prompt so compile the program java c floating division zero example two okay we are taking this as example two that's okay I right, compile this no error so no compilation error 10.5 divided by 0, 0.0 run so the answer is infinity so infinity i capital it is a defined value in java for floating division by zero okay right so this is what is working with floating value divided by zero so if you see here any floating value divided by 0, 0.0 is infinity it is a real number value floating value divided by zero zero is an integer is also infinity and integer divided by 0, 0.0 is also infinity because 0, 0.0 is double it is automatically converting to integer to double so double double means floating value so floating value by 0, 0.0 is also infinity okay and then <coughs> finally integer by integer 0 is exception and technically it is a runtime error so runtime error so this is how we are supposed to work with floating division by zero which is infinity and defined value in java program now let us work with string class basic methods first of all string is a predefined class in java okay now in this class we have many methods 
so but we are going to discuss some basic methods in string class so first one we have already seen concat method which is used to combine two strings into single string to uppercase method it is used to convert the given string into completely uppercase to lowercase it is used to convert the given string into completely lowercase trim method it is used to remove extra spaces before and after string okay so before means beginning after means ending of a string okay so concat method to uppercase to lowercase trim so let us try to work with these methods okay so for example i'll take string s1 is equals to hello so string is a class s1 is a variable assignment operator whose value is hello string s2 is equals to world so s1 concat s2 s1 dot two uppercase s2 dot two lowercase now for example if i take string s3 is equals to one two two spaces welcome two spaces beginning ending so if i say s3 dot trim it will remove unnecessary spaces at the beginning and ending of a given string and then we can use multiple methods at a time which is technically known as chaining of methods so s1 dot concat of s2 so it will combine s1 with s2 after combining dot to uppercase it will convert that combined s1 s2 string into uppercase okay so first i'm using concat and then followed by two uppercase so let us try to demonstrate this with a small program string class methods example one dot java okay right so program to demo string class basic methods right so take a new page first write comments at the beginning of the program so take main class with main method so our main class will be string class methods example one okay right so take public static void main string of orcs okay so string class methods example one so save this program in your working directory dot java as the file extension right so we'll take here same example okay as it is so string s1 hello in lowercase string s2 world in uppercase after that s1 dot concat of s2 okay so we'll say here system dot out dot println s1 dot concat of s2 so directly it will print the combined string in println method using println method on the output screen save the program come to the command prompt all right so compile string class methods example one dot java so no compilation error and then run it java string class methods example one right so hello world we got it as a single string hello in lowercase world in uppercase okay right so now let us work with two uppercase two lowercase right so here again i will take system dot 
out dot printl n s1 dot to uppercase similarly system dot out dot printl n s2 dot to lowercase so converting s1 into uppercase and s2 into lowercase save it come to the command prompt recompile okay and run it so hello is converted to uppercase world is converted to lowercase okay right so now let us take string s3 is equals to so two spaces welcome two spaces okay right so first i will print system dot out dot print ln s3 okay uh, i'll print s3 uh, plus by okay so what is s3 two spaces welcome two spaces plus by we should get that on the output screen right save it recompile and run it so two spaces welcome two spaces concatenation by so now what i will do is okay same thing i'll do it like this s3 dot trim so first it will remove unnecessary spaces from the beginning and ending of a string plus by so save it recompile and run so now if you see here before welcome and after welcome trimming is done so trimming means removing unnecessary spaces from beginning and ending of a string plus by string concatenation is done so previously we had spaces now without spaces so this is how we are supposed to work with string class methods okay right concat to uppercase to lowercase and then trim now finally we'll work with chaining of methods okay right so it goes like this here so system dot out dot print ln right so we'll do chaining of methods okay or simply it is also called as method chaining okay so how is that we are doing it right so system dot out dot print ln s1 dot concat of s2 hello world so this hello world dot to uppercase it will be completely converted into uppercase save it right and then come to the command prompt recompile and run right so hello world concat dot to uppercase so hello world is completely converted into uppercase the last output so this is how we are supposed to work with string class basic methods now let us understand what are some notable differences between c programming language and java programming language so the first notable difference goes like this c is multi paradigm language so what do you mean by multi paradigm language so in c we can do both procedure oriented programming as well as object oriented programming but coming to java java is a pure object oriented programming language okay so in java we write everything in the form of classes and its objects okay right so second difference goes like this 
so c plus plus supports 42 standard keywords java supports 48 standard keywords and total we have plus 5 53 next in c plus plus classes by default its members are private whereas in java classes by default its members are default so we'll discuss this in object oriented programming next in c plus plus we write main function outside a class whereas in java we write main method inside a class okay right so c plus plus supports inline functions friend functions friend classes virtual functions and virtual classes whereas java does not support all these features due to security reasons okay next so c c++ supports the concepts of operator overloading and multiple inheritance okay whereas java does not support the above concept of oops because they break the rules of object oriented programming so in object oriented programming we have some principles so those principles rules protocols are broken by the above concepts okay next seventh one goes like this c plus plus supports classes subclasses for inheritance whereas java supports classes interfaces subclasses sub interfaces for inheritance so in inheritance we have interfaces extra okay next so c plus plus provides pure virtual functions which are incomplete classes okay they are okay incomplete methods whereas java supports abstract methods which are incomplete methods so we'll discuss this in abstraction next c plus plus supports the concept of prototypes okay whereas java does not support this feature because jvm is an intelligent piece of software okay so we can declare variables anywhere okay so declare variables or methods anywhere in program class whereas in c plus plus we have to write this with the concept of prototypes okay prototype means it is skeleton declarations of variables and methods or functions at the beginning of the program next c plus plus is platform dependent programming language because after compilation it generates dot obj file which is machine code whereas java is platform independent programming language because after compilation it does not generate the machine code it generates okay dot class file which is bytecode so this bytecode is understood only by jvm and using jvm we can run this bytecode on any operating system windows operating system linux operating system mac operating system any operating system now coming to the 11th difference c++ supports the concept of structures unions along with classes but java supports only classes and objects for object oriented programming next so in c++ and c we have garbage values to local variables when not assigned with any value so if you don't assign any value we'll get the garbage value 
So what is this garbage value means? Random value which is selected by C compiler or C++ compiler. But in Java, we don't have the concept of garbage values. Okay. So in Java, we have to compulsory initialize local variables and use them in the program. Otherwise, we'll get a compilation error. Whereas in C, C++, you'll get the garbage value, any random value which is selected by the compiler. Next. Thirteenth difference. In C++, we have three function calling mechanisms. Call by value. Call by reference using pointers. Call by address using alias concept. So once again, I'll repeat it. Call by value. Call by reference using pointers concept. Call by address using alias concept. Whereas in Java, we have only two method calling mechanisms. One, call by value. And two, call by reference using object reference variables. Next, so C++ supports static functions and static variables only in a class. Okay. Only in a class right whereas java supports static methods static variables static initializers and static nested classes also okay right next so c++ supports static functions and static variables uh, only in a class whereas all these are supported in a class okay also in a java class all this concept are supported in java class next 15 the difference c++ programs are saved with dot cpp as file extensions whereas java programs are saved with dot java as file extension next so c++ was invented by John Stroudstrup in 1983, whereas Java was invented by James Gosling in 1995. So, next in C, dynamic polymorphism is done with virtual functions, whereas in Java, dynamic polymorphism is done with dynamic method dispatch concept or simply DMD dynamic method dispatch so we'll discuss this in inheritance concept next so C++ does not support the concept of wrapper classes whereas Java supports the concept of wrapper classes so wrapper classes means for every primitive data type we have a class in Java int short byte long float double care boolean for every primitive data type we have a class in java wrapper classes so next so c++ supports the concept of templates whereas java supports the concept of generics okay or simply you can call it as generics okay generics Okay, next C is mostly used for developing embedded system programs or VLSI, very large scale integrated circuits programming. Whereas Java is mostly used for developing end user applications in a computer. So, end user applications means notepad, calculator office applications etc so these are some notable differences between c++ programming language and java programming language so this is what is all about today's session in core java division by zero integer division by zero floating division by zero 
so string class basic methods and then differences between c plus plus and java programming and we have also worked with some basic programs on divisions by zero string class basic methods right thank you for watching and listening this session have a nice day